Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about OBS, specifically how to set it up. Because a lot of people um, are still using the Elgato software, which really is not good. And this is a free software, so I would definitely recommend going to the website to download it. Um, but yeah, we're going to be talking about how to set it up and get everything situated. We're going to be talking about dual monitors, game chat, all the good stuff. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so once you've downloaded OBS, you're gonna wanna go down to this plus button right here, and you're gonna wanna add whatever uh, external things you're going to be using on your capturing software here. So most likely you're gonna wanna put in an audio, and you're gonna wanna put in your game capture, and your display capture if you're gonna be recording a PC. Um, you can add an image in, so you'll get an overlay, just like that and then the webcam what's up so it's pretty easy just got to go to the plus sign and add everything in okay and once you have all that ready to go go into settings you're gonna want to up your bit rate here uh, mine's at 3800 now I think it starts you at like 2000 so I would turn that up if I were you it's gonna give you a clearer image supposedly um, and then also you want to come down to your recording and switch to mp4 and I put mine on high quality. Uh, that's pretty much it in settings. Uh, you could get your stream key all set up here. You could make hotkeys so you can just tap stuff and it'll make it go. Like uh, it's good if you're recording or streaming. You just slap your space bar and it will take you into the stream or the recording. Um, it should be at 60 FPS depending on what Elgato you have. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for here. Okay, if you're going to be using dual monitors, you're going to have to get an HDMI cable coming out of your console. It's going to go into your Elgato, and then that's going to come out of your Elgato into your monitor, your first one, and that's going to be your gameplay. And then up next, you're going to have a USB that's going to plug into the back of your Elgato, or it's coming in from the Xbox, and it's going to be output to your PC. And then that PC is going to be hooked up either HDMI or VGI to another monitor, and that's going to be your streaming PC. And then you're also going to be plugging in your mic and your camera into your PC, and that's going to give you functionality of those two objects and whatever else you're going to be plugging into there. Okay, so you can also stream with just one monitor, but it's kind of a pain in the butt because one, you're going to have to have a monitor that has VGA and uh, HDMI or two HMIs, HDMIs. And you're going to have to switch between the sources, which is a pain. You're going to have to go HDMI 1 when you want to hit record or whatever, unless you have it set up with the space bar. And then you're also going to have to go in and switch it over for your gameplay. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. It's not really worth it. You might as well just get another... A hundred dollar monitor off Amazon or go down to your local Walmart and get one but you, it is possible so to get game chat what you have to do is get an auxiliary splitter from your 3.5 millimeter jack on your controller and you're gonna output that to the splitter and one end is going to go into your headset and the other is gonna go into your Elgato uh, you're gonna also need if you don't already have one an auxiliary to auxiliary cable that's going to plug in from the auxiliary splitter into your Elgato. Alrighty, that's it for the video guys. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel. We're very small and growing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video and have a great day.